Seymour here. Uh, I thought I might uh, show you on a video uh, and answer your question that way. First and foremost, really good to ask. If you don't know how to do that and you don't know how to study in this way and you really want to do it work smart, not hard, then it's, what a great question to ask. So really well done. Always ask these questions. And if any of your friends are just going, oh, I don't know how to do it, get them to ask me because that that's a really smart way to do it. Always ask. So how are we going to learn if I, and I do, I want you to learn this content that you see in front of you here on page two and page three that I wanted you to do for homework. I need you to learn that off by heart. So how do we do that? Well, let's take this first sentence, this first couple of sentences. So if I want you to, to know, cells are the basic unit of life and reproduction. All living organisms are made of cells and cell products. You could, on uh, one card, you could probably ask both of those questions, just so you're not using a thousand cards. So you could just make a little card up, just cut up a few A4 sheets of paper into small little cards, different colors even of A4 paper, make them up in small little cards. On one side, you'd just go, uh, cells are, question mark. And the answer is the definition um, can be the unit of life and reproduction. And that's the answer on the other side. But also down here, if you look and go, well, in your mix and match activity one down here, you've got a cell and you had to uh, find and match that up with a, a line. So if you look down here, you hopefully uh, would have found, well, is it a barrier? No, watery fluid? No, oh, basic structural unit? Yeah, maybe structure within the cell? No, not DNA, not genetic material, not substances by the ribosome. So the answer to the, the definition of a cell is the structural unit of an organism. So that and that is what a cell is, which kind of said the same thing. Basic unit of life, basic structural unit of organisms. Same thing. So you could say on the start, what is a cell? On the back of it, the answer to that is the basic unit of life and reproduction in organisms. Let's try another one. Now you could do all of these on acti activity one. So you could say, what is a cell membrane on one side of your study card? On the other side of your study card, you would have and hopefully matched up in your homework that a cell membrane is the barrier that controls the movement of substances into and out of the cell. Now, if you don't know any of these, obviously, you're gonna go and have to uh, look them up. A few of, uh, and the answers are in here as well, uh, some of them. Um, but if you're unsure and you can't find it in here easily, then you just Google search uh, what the definitions might be anyway. So question on one side, what is a cell membrane? Answer on the other one, a barrier that controls the movement. So you have question on one side, answer on the other. Let's go over to here. Now these are really good the way Blitzing Bio sets it up because you've got a question here and then in your homework, you're going to write an answer. What is made in cells by ribosomes? And in these that information on the left-hand side here, it'll actually tell you what is made in cells by the ribosomes. So that can go on the back of your study card. Same thing with A, B, C, D, E, F, and G in this activity too. Question on one side, the answer that you get on the other. Now, obviously you need to get these answers correct. You don't wanna learn incorrect things, but they give you the answers in here. If you're unsure of any of the answers, always ask me. I'm assuming that you will be able to find the answers. If you can't, it is up to you as a year 11 student to just double check the ones that you may not know. Again, same thing with activity three question on one side, describe the composition of the cytoplasm, the answer that is in here. Also, the answer should be on the other. Now, in activity four, um, you can actually do uh, this basic cell diagram, and here it is, basic cell diagram. You can draw this on one side of your study card, and on the other side of your study card, you draw it again with all these, all the additions of the labels on the other side. So if we go over to the next one here, if you look down here, now there's a number of really good information here that you would, uh, uh, after we do this kind of first section, we're gonna learn about some things called prokaryotes and eukaryotes. How do you do study cards for this next section? Well, really simple the way that uh, Blitzing Bio books uh, set it up. Here, we're going to complete this infographic and plug in what goes here with P and E and B and A. 
you can draw that on one side of your study card and on the other side of your study card, you're just going to have it filled in. Same thing with a nice big study card. This time you can just put this entire, just freehand draw uh, this entire table on one side of the study card and on the other side, you can just have that uh, same table just filled in with all the answers. Now, sometimes that might be too big for your study card. So you might do a study card of just like, prokaryote cells, what's the meaning of a prokaryote cell? And what's the size of the prokaryote cell? That might be enough, just those two first boxes for if you have, if you make up small study cards, then you can just do a set of study cards just with two, and then two questions, and then another two questions, and then another two questions about prokaryotes, then another two questions, another two questions for eukaryotes. But some people prefer that whole thing in one study card. I hope that helps. Again, if you're unsure, if I'm not answering your question, if, if you go, oh, but I don't, I don't really get it yet. I have study cards. I've even got my study cards from when I was in year nine and 10 and 11. So uh, not of biology, but of, of other subjects that I did. So I can even show you some basic and simple versions of what I'm talking about as well, if you're uh, unsure. I hope that uh, helps. Again, email me or ask me tomorrow. Um, and we can clarify some things.